Hi everyone. Today we are going to do probability. Finally, we finished the trigonometry. Now we are doing the probability. You will see much easier. Uh, today, 11.1a Venn diagram. So you are familiar with this Venn diagram, right? So today uh, you are going to find the intersection or union of two events by using the Venn diagram. So let's see the simple example do 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 now. Okay. <clears throat> you see the Venn diagram, then in the Venn diagram, mostly we see how many circles? Two circles. One circle means one event, right? There's a drama and music. So let's uh, answer the questions briefly. How many students like a drama? How many students like a drama? You see the circle is for drama. So nine students here, but nine students like only drama, right? And 15 students like a drama, also music. And seven students like only music and 12 students do not like either. So how many students like a drama? Nine and 15, so total 24. And how many students like music? 15 and seven, 22. How many students like both? Yeah, both is intersection, right? Intersection here, 15. Now how many students like either drama or music? So, it, so either drama or music, it could be drama, it could be music, it could be drama and music. So either drama or music, nine, 15, seven, right? So nine plus 15, 24 plus seven is 31. Now how many students, uh, number five, right? How many students? like neither drama nor music, neither, they don't like anything. So 12 outside of the circle. How many students are there in all? So nine, 15, seven, 12, if you add them all, 24 plus seven is 31, and plus 12 is 43, right? So what is the Venn diagram? Venn diagram consists of what? Overlapping two circles and then make us to organize information visually. So we are able to see the relations between the two or three sets of items, but we will focus on only the two items. So one item and two items. <coughs> so how many regions do you see in these uh, Venn diagrams? How many regions? One, R1, I said region one, region two, region three, and region four outside. So we have all four regions. If you add all four regions, it will become total, right? So circle A, event A is region one and region two. And you understand, right? How can we explain this? Now let's, um, so event B is what? Event B is region two and region three, right? Then what is here? The intersection, we call it intersection is A intersection B. This shape is, so A intersection B, or we call it A and B, it's both, right? Then it's region two. Uh, two. But what is A, this B, A union B? This is either A or B. So to satisfy number two, A intersection B, both of them must be satisfied, right? It should belong to both events. But this one, it belongs to either one, either one event, event number one, or event number two, or both doesn't matter, either one. How do you find we should focus on this intersection and union? How do you find the union? So if you add A 
plus B. What happened is this region two intersection A intersection B. This one was counted how many times? Twice, right? So when you get the A union B, you add A, you add B, but you should subtract intersection. Do you understand why? Because this one was counted how many times? Twice, two times. So you should subtract the intersection. Then you can find out union. So look, if you know the union, but if you don't know the intersection, now you switch this one. You need, you move this intersection to the left side and move this union to the right side, right? Then you can solve it. You get it? <clears throat> All right. So only A is region one we already mentioned. Only B is region three. So we can take a look. And neither A nor B is region four. So I believe everybody is familiar with this, right? Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. So you go to the Google Classroom discussion and then please answer there. Let's read the question. A suburban high school has a population of 1,376 students. The number of students who participate in sports is 649. The number of students who participate in music is 433. If the number of students who participate in either sports or music, which is a union B, sports union music is 974. What is the number of students who participate in both intersection? So now you go to the Google Classroom discussion, you can ask these uh, questions. How many circles can be made in Venn diagram? Oh, too easy. I will you name the circles, right? Can you do it? Of course. So think about it. Are you done? Think, are you done with the thinking? Then let's compare. So students <clears throat> who like sports, 649. And music, 433. But all together, we have 1376. If you now, uh, but there's another number. Let's focus either 974. What is the 974? It's a union, right? So how do you find the intersection? That's the question. Do you see the, what is the number of students who participate in both sports and music? So write down the, you know, the, all the information here. It's, it'll be much easier. Sports, 649, music, 433. A union B, oh, S union M is 974, right? So now let's write down the formula. A union B is, we know, A plus B minus intersection. So instead of here, A and B, we can use S and M, doesn't matter. So what is A union B? Either, here it says 974, right? 974 is equal to 649, music 433 you add, and the minus intersection. Now, to solve this one, what should we do? You can simplify, but you move intersection to this side, right? And 974 to other side, then what happened? Intersection B, I moved here to the left side, minus become plus. 974 become minus. Oh, where did you get the 1082? If you add the 649 plus 433, is a 1082. You subtract 108. Was it difficult? No, right? This is, uh, everybody can do it. So only thing is you should remember, when you have a union B is A 
plus B. What happened? You should subtract A intersection B because this was counted how many times? Twice, right? So then it will be equal. So everybody understand. <coughs> this one, I think I don't need to spend time here, right? You can do it by yourself, but in the slide, you can check your answer this way. So how many, so you go to the slide, you will be able to find it, even though I don't show now. All right. And so you will see in the Google uh, Classroom quiz, in the Google form, so you are going to take the quiz. So please make sure you take a quiz. So, check it. You know how to draw the Venn diagram with the two circles in a big rectangle? How many regions are there? Four regions. So you find the number of each region in the diagram, right? And you will be able to do it. So if you see in your packet, you have how many? <clears throat> one, two, but one, two has these, uh, you know, sub questions two big questions and then two more. So you have a total of four questions. But this one, even though you have a probability, you know, same, you can use the same uh, formula. Please remember the same formula. Uh, and then find out a union B from A, you can find out A, intersection B. But how do you determine independent or dependent? That I will just explain. <clears throat> you say that these A and B events are independent only when A intersection B is equal to A times B. The probability of A multiplied by probability B. If this is equal to the intersection of A and B, then we call it independent. If not, there will be dependent. So you sh what should you do? You should calculate what is A intersection B from this information, right? So you know the formula already by using A, B, and A union B. Okay? Same thing in number 29 here. So I want you to try. So I explain with this probability, same formula you use, please use it. And if you know that a intersection B, probability of A intersection B is equal to the multiplication of probability of A and probability of B. Then if they are equal, independent. If not, dependent. All right, so please try. And if you have question, you can email it to me. Okay, we'll stop here.